Hello, yogis. My name is April, and welcome to the Yoga Ranger Studio, and welcome to your practice. Today, we're going to be working with restorative yoga that focuses on really helping and supporting those who are struggling with long COVID. So, there's a lot of challenges involved in long COVID, and this is just going to be approaching one of those aspects. Stay tuned for more that we'll be approaching more of the aspects. But one of the biggest complaints is the issues with not being able to take a really full deep breath, feeling out of breath, and along with being out of breath and feeling out of breath and not being able to take a deep breath is that sort of brain fog, that lack of clarity, that feeling very tired and dizzy and disoriented. You really want to oxygenate the body and when it's not getting all of that, when it's difficult to open up those spaces to breathe really deeply, it can make it seem like you are more tired, more exhausted, unable to have a really clear thought. And so we're gonna be working with focusing on that. So for our practice today, a blanket underneath for your support and for your comfort, this is restorative. This is about taking care of yourself and being super loving and compassionate. So something soft underneath, you could even practice this on your bed. A second blanket or a towel, which would be nice and supportive, we're gonna use that to roll it up and open up the chest in a couple of different ways. And then a bolster, but if you don't have a bolster, that's okay too. You can always have a couple of bed pillows off your bed or a couple of throw pillows, pillows off your couch, and those will work just as well for this. Or you could even take a pillow from your bed, wrap it in a towel, and make it into a more firm type bolster. So we're gonna set the bolster off to the side because we won't be using that right at the first. We will be using our blanket. We're gonna roll it a couple of different ways. Now, if your back is feeling a little bit like it needs a little tender loving care, you could roll this blanket the lengthwise way, so as it's rolled the other way, but I'm gonna roll it the short end. It may take a couple of tries to see what works best for you, maybe a half roll or a whole roll. This is quite tall, but I'm okay with that today. So some days you may feel like you are, some days you feel like you aren't. We're gonna take it down the length of our um, mat here today kind of bring your seat right up against that edge. Now, if you have a longer torso, you're going to want to shift a little further away from it so you have space and you feel the whole support of your upper body. Start to lower yourself down. Checking in to make sure that you have head support too. You want to feel like your head is fully supported here. Make some adjustments where you feel that a blanket roll right down the center of your spine so you really open up. So we're trying to open up left and right, so kind of lifting both left and right to the sides. Now here, if this is where you want to stay, you can keep those knees bent, or you can very slowly start to take those heels a little bit wider. Arms can be out to the side, however you want. So alongside the hips, out wide, somewhere in between. Know that this is going to feel a little bit awkward at the very start, but allow your body to sort of shift into this pose and let the props support you. Invite some ease and some release into your body. you find here that this is just too tall, you can always come out of this, roll it the lengthwise way so it's a little skinnier and a little flatter or partially unroll this so some of it's out to the side and the roll isn't quite as round. Sometimes it just takes a lot of patience to sort of let your body sink into this and wrap the shoulder blades around that blanket roll. You're gonna start just tapping into your breath. Thinking about bringing the breath into the belly space, into the chest, and into the upper space of the collarbones and the upper shoulders. And really allow your diaphragmatic breath to be really full and rich. We wanna access this lower space and this upper space, not just the center space, which is where a lot of us breathe more often uh, under anxiety or stress, we tend to breathe just in the center. So when we think about allowing your belly to be soft and moving 
up and forward and out, and then your chest, and then your collarbones expanding, and then on the contraction and exhale, letting everything just slide back toward the center line. Just focusing on your inhale here, but also your exhale. Maybe even pulling at the very bottom of your exhale, the belly back just a little bit to allow itself to push that last bit of stagnant air out, inviting more space for fresh, fresh oxygenation to come in. Gently begin to bend one knee at a time, bringing the foot flat. Nice deep inhale and exhale through your mouth. Gently shifting your hips over to the left. You're going to roll off that blanket, roll over to the right. Very slowly, no rush here. Press yourself up. Now we're going to switch the shape of that blanket roll to come crossways across the mat, so the short end of the mat. Coming back to our backs. We want to have right where the shoulders come out and the underarms are on the top side of that blanket roll. We're going to shift just a little bit, a little shimmy here. And feel where your shoulder blades are just starting to touch the floor. So this may take a little bit of adjustment, depending on how your back feels today. Maybe it's taking a little bit more. I like to stay for a few breaths here with the knees bent. 
And if after a while you feel like you want to start to take those legs out straight, or you just want to keep the knees bent, you can stay there too. Arms can go out to the side in a T or in a cactus position or up overhead if you want to. If you're feeling that your breaths are really small and still somewhat restricted, know that this is just where you're at today, and that's okay. With time and effort here and just letting yourself be supported by the props, you will find that you start to open up a little bit at a time. Here we're looking to open top and bottom of the back. Really focusing on opening the upper chest, letting the belly have some space to breathe. Oftentimes when we are struggling, we will curve over deeper into the upper back curve, and this is reversing that curve, helping bring a little space, a little more breath into this upper lung area. Gently beginning to bend one knee at a time, bring the foot flat. What we're going to do is we're going to gently drop those knees over to the left, keeping that left arm out in front of you. We're going to bring that right arm up and over the side. We're not going to stay here quite as long. We're just going to stretch the side waist, 
There's a lot of little tiny muscles that are in this space that allow us to breathe more deeply and take a really nice deep breath. So I'm going to open up that space too. Breathing deeply into the right side body, or as deeply as you can in this moment. Feeling that expansion out to the side, the front, the back. Walking your right hand in, taking it alongside your hip, starting to roll back onto your back, and we're going to switch to the other side. So don't be in any hurry. There's no rush here. Restorative is about moving super slow. Coming onto the right side and then taking that left arm up and over, touching down on the floor or the bolster or some kind of prop if you'd like. Breathing into that left side, left lung. to bring that left hand alongside the hip. We're going to bring that left hand down and start to press ourselves all the way up. We're going to keep that blanket roll the way it is and we're going to move it up just a little bit. Bring in our bolster or pillows. We're going to place that lengthways down. It's very like a T format here. And this is just to help us curve a little bit more. So go ahead and sit on your bolster or your stack of pillows. Coming all the way down, you want the shoulders to be rolling down that blanket roll. And this is similar to where we've been, but we want to open up a little bit more of the lower belly space too. So if you like, you can take your legs out straighter. If that's a lot for your back, take them wide. You can take the arms up overhead. Opening up a little bit more of the throat, the lower belly space. And some side waist as well.
continuing to focus on expanding your breath to the left and right sides. Allow your ribs to float outward as well as forward and up and back. Just five more deep breaths here. See if you can expand your breath just a little bit more, get a little bit more ease and opening. Very slowly, if your legs are outstretched, bending your knees, walking your feet in a little bit more, taking your hands down a little bit. I like to press through my heels and shift that bolster down as well as shimmy that blanket out so that the back can come all the way down to the floor. Just taking a couple of breaths here. No rush, but rolling to your right side and setting up for your last pose. So if you have a wall, you can put your feet up the wall. If you have a sofa, you can put your feet up the sofa. If you have a bolster up against something, you can put it up there. You can unroll this lovely blanket and use it for a little prop for your head. Whatever you're doing, take your hip up against the wall or the bolster or your sofa and take those legs and swing them around up high so that your feet can be upright. This may take a little bit of adjustment. You can rest your feet up there. We just want to have your feet higher than your heart. What we're doing is we're working with a little bit more into the lymph nodes, helping lymphatic fluid drain down from the feet and the legs back into the nodes that are in the lower belly, lower pelvis area inside. This is going to help kind of boost our immune system a little. It's also super relaxing. So however you find yourself, if you have tighter hamstrings, it works better to be a little further away from the surface and not going straight up and down. You can be at a little bit of an angle. 
Arms out to the side, hands alongside your hips or out in a T. Or maybe you're resting your hands on your belly or your chest. Letting everything feel really soft and connected to the earth. Checking in with your breath, expanding into the floor, out to the sides, front and up. Just five more breaths here. Very slowly start to walk your feet down the wall or the couch or your bolster until your feet are flat against it. And then go ahead and roll. Let yourself roll to the right side. Take a couple of breaths here on your right side. And make your way all the way up to a seat. You can use that bolster to sit on 
or the blanket or the floor. Or you could stay lying down for longer if that feels really good for you. Take those shoulders and roll them back a little bit. Pull your hands back onto your thighs. Take a nice deep inhale, nice exhale through the mouth. Thank you so much for sharing this practice with me. Today we're really focusing on opening up all those spaces and all the tissues of breath, allowing us to breathe more deeply. But in addition to that, when we do things like back bends or chest openers or back openers, we're also really helping enervate the lymph nodes and lymphatic system. A lot of the lymph nodes are located in the neck, under the arms and the lower pelvis, and in the center of the chest. So we're really kind of helping support our overall health and wellness. Opening up the chest also helps with feeling sad or a little overworn or anxious or depressed. It can help lift the energy a little bit more, adding a little bit more clarity to your thoughts with the breath being a little deeper and fuller and richer. If you felt like this was still difficult to breathe, keep doing this. It's a process. It takes time to really continue to open that space up. Maybe spend more time in some of the poses if you like, or just use these poses, one or two of them at a time each day to really open up the space of both the sideways, because you have a lot of little tiny tissue and muscles under here, and the upper chest, mid chest, and lower belly space to really open up the full extent of the breath and the lungs. Just working with focusing on that breath, expanding all the way around, out to the sides, the front, the back, up, and exhaling back down. So just exploring this, have patience with yourself and take some time for compassion and care. I wish you all the best healing and energy and I will see you again soon. Have a great week.